On this episode of Geek Dad Life, we're going to review the new Fright Features Ghostbusters figures by Hasbro. Hey and welcome to Geek Dad Life. It's your host, Jay Glatfelter here. With the delay of Ghostbusters Afterlife to March 2021, reps from Hasbro have said that the majority of the Ghostbusters merch will be held back to support the new release date. But that hasn't stopped some of the product from seeing a retail release, like the Kenner Classics and Plasma series. These Fright Feature figures, however, are not supposed to come out till closer to the new March 2021 release date. A toy dealer got a shipment even though he was told they were going to be delayed, and I couldn't pass up the chance to get these in hand early and to share them with all of you. So be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and click on that bell icon to support the channel. This is the main toy line to support Ghostbusters Afterlife and features cartoonized, stylized versions of the core four original Ghostbusters. This line also includes ghosts such as Slimer, Stay Puft, and Afterlife newbie Chomper. It will also feature roleplay props and a great looking Ecto-1 with a pop-out gunner seat as seen in the first Afterlife trailer. Looking at the box art, I love what they've done with the Afterlife toys. It's wholly unique to this toy line departing from the purple and yellow of the Kenner line and the green and black slime motif that is in so much Ghostbusters merchandise. It features eye-catching primary colors with new Afterlife Ghostbusters logo, neat blue and white backer with different stylized GB icons, and I noticed that there was a ghost trap which looked like on an RC car. Maybe this is something we'll see in the new Afterlife movie. The bubble features great artwork of the character shooting a proton beam with Ghostbusters and the character's name over the iconic red fin of the 59 Cadillac. Characters from the 1984 film also get this great badge showing Slimer, the year 1984, and classic in multiple languages telling you that this is a character from the original film. The inner bubble shows the 5 POA figure with separate proton pack accessory and unique Fright Features ghost. The inner tray also has additional artwork to show what the ghost transforms into. That same artwork shows up on the back as well as a short bio for each character. The back features a lot of copyright in multiple languages, but unfortunately features no cross-sell art of the other figures, which is sadly commonplace for toys today. We never got Ghostbusters movie toys as a kid, and it's taken over 35 years to finally get them. So, were they worth the wait? Let's open them up and find out. Out of the box, the figures stand about five and a half inches tall, feature five points of articulation. Their companion ghosts range from an inch to two inches, and the proton pack attaches to the back of the figure, nearly identical to the classic Kenner real Ghostbusters figures. Looking closer at the sculpts, each head sculpt catches the essence of their film counterpart, but is in a neat stylized look that shows what an animated version of the 1984 film could look like. The body tools slash sculpts are all identical. The only way to separate the character's height slightly is the size and length of the head sculpt. The paint applications are simple but effective with painted hair, boots, hands, straps, and belts. The Ghostbusters patch, name tag, and eyes are all paint deco application with only Egon's eyes looking a little wonky. The Fright Features ghosts are a great accessory coming in about the same size as a Kenner Companion Ghost. The Fright Features mechanism works almost identical to the original Fright Features figures with a button on a back that opens them up and do an action when you continue to push the button. Peter comes with a terror dog, Egon an orange ghost that reminds me of the Wicked Witch's flying monkeys, Ray comes with a pink and blue ghost that has my favorite action feature, and Winston comes with a properly scaled Slimer, something rare for Ghostbusters toy lines. I'm bummed how Slimer's fright feature breaks up his sculpt, but I'm still glad we got him. The proton packs are all identical in one rubbery piece with the Neutrona wands being very bendy. This makes accurately attaching the wand to the pack really bend the handle. So it's probably not a good idea to store or display it this way long term. My absolute favorite aspect of these figures is scale. They are essentially in the same scale with the classic Kenner real Ghostbusters. 
Their animated style, size, and Kenner accurate foot peg holes let you play and display these movie Ghostbusters figures with your Kenner Heroes Ghost vehicles and your Kenner Real Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's such a simple thing, but it makes these figures an absolute slam dunk. When I asked the question if these were worth the wait, the answer is yes. For any kid in the 80s and 90s that wished they had Ghostbusters toys that looked like they were from the movie, I can't think of better figures than these Fright Features Ghostbusters Afterlife action figures from Hasbro. These are an absolute buy for Ghostbusters fans of any age, and at a suggested retail price under 10 bucks, makes it a great value buy as well. Definitely check out my other Hasbro Ghostbusters reviews. Here is a playlist where I review every Kenner Classics figure going side by side with originals and a playlist reviewing every Plasma series figure thus far. I plan to review every Hasbro Ghostbusters release, so definitely subscribe. And until then, hasta luego and goodbye. <laughs>